What is up YouTube, Colby here with the all new 2023 Jeep Gladiator in this beautiful white and black exterior. We're gonna do a little review for you guys today, show you around the exterior, the interior, talk about the engine, and uh, what I like about it while I drive. That's gonna be it. Make sure to like and comment, and if you're new here, subscribe to our channel. As you guys can tell, it is raining cats and dogs out here, so we'll give you a quick little tour of the exterior so we can hop inside. Starting off under the hood, we got a 3.6 liter V6 engine. It's gonna give you around 285 horsepower. Come along to the front here, we got the nice classic circular LED lights that you might notice in a Wrangler. The seven slot grille, iconic with Jeep, and we just got a tiny little Jeep logo in the front. Down below, we got your accents lights, which are also your turn signal lights. And, which is a cool feature here, you got your front lower bumper that's actually a little bit extended and it's in white. They usually have these in black, so I like they're keeping it the same as the body color. The black tow hooks, and then below, the, the lower fog lamps. Over now to the right here, we got your off-roading capability tires, Bridgestone tires. Take a look in the middle. It's kind of a glossy finish. Hopefully you can see that with the rain reflecting on it. I like that look of that. Over here, we got your 4x4 trail rated, as I mentioned, off-roading capabilities, as well as your Jeep Gladiator badge. Up here, you got your power heated li uh, lights with the body color and the black accents. Down below, you got your running board step-up ladder here for your short kings. And just like Wranglers, you can see you can take off all both the doors in the front and the back. This is gonna be the first reason back here when you notice this isn't a Wrangler. Take a look, this extended truck Five foot steel and this model's got the spray in bed lining for durability and adds a nice little touch with that white exterior. You got some LED lights back here on both sides to help you work in the dark. I'll close this back up nice and easy, nice and light I may add. The Jeep logo, I like that color there, nice and big and bold and your rear view camera right below it. You got red braking LED lights on either side and you got a tow hook on the left and your uh, trailer and towing capabilities are located down below. Overall, this thing can tow up to 7,600 pounds. That's pretty much it for the exterior. I'll see you guys on the inside. Finally, in the driver's seat here, we're gonna give it a little cold start. Check out these animations. You get one there, cool little Jeep. And then up here as well, it says Jeep. Obviously in the middle, we got your touch display, uh, eight inches, 8.4, uh, supports Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, incredible response time. Up above here on the dash as well, you'll notice this is actually all leather with that brown stitching that I might add as my favorite design for the interior. Take a look at this beautiful brown stitching. It's kind of got a diamond, uh, diamond little design. I've noticed they've done that in their Cherokees and Grand Cherokees. I really dig that. Uh, it's really comfortable to sit in here, especially with the hands, heated seats, heated steering wheels, and the stitching once again comes alive on the steering wheel, which gives it a little more grip adds a little touch of class to the Jeep steering wheel, which you guys seen my videos in the past, Jeep steering wheel is one of my favorites. Down below, you got your, all your climate buttons, all your climate controls, uh, heated seats, heated steering wheels, as I mentioned. You can control also on the screen as well. Down below, you got all your window power options, a 12 volt, some auxiliaries, and an extra little coin storage there. And your gear shifter is gonna have here with that cool little uh, Gladiator there. You can see it's a mini Gladiator on there. Cool little detail. And if you're into off-roading, obviously you're gonna use this to get in some manual gears there. E-brake, cup holders, and armrests with little secret hidden compartments in there. Overall, dig the look, dig the feel of this. Can't wait to take this baby on the road. All right, guys, we are taking this beautiful 2023 Jeep Gladiator on the road here. Perfect time for some construction. Hopefully uh, you guys can't hear that too much. But anyways, yeah, excited about this one. Obviously the 3.6 liter V6, uh, gonna give you around 285 horsepower with 260 pounds of torque. So obviously why Jeep Gladiator? Why would you wanna get, um, you know, something that kind of looks like a Wrangler, uh, but it doesn't have the truck lining uh, as a truck, uh, pickup truck in the back extension. So basically if you're in the market, for a mid-size pickup truck, this is what Jeep has to offer the Jeep Gladiator. Uh, some people have even come out and said uh, from YouTube reviews I've watched recently uh, that the Jeep Gladiator is more reliable than um, the Toyota Tacoma truck, which is actually pretty surprising to hear, obviously, because when you think of t uh, Toyota, you think of uh, reliability, and uh, things like that so 
many good things have come out uh, from people who actually own gladiators. Uh, the first thing is you really get, it really feels like a Wrangler. I mean, the view from the driver's dash, incredible. Uh, no, no, uh, no really blind spots. And if you're comfortable and you like driving uh, a Wrangler, the Gladiator is just going to be as fun to drive. And one of the other main reasons to get a Gladiator right now is if you're in the market, uh, obviously for a, a mid-sized pickup truck for work or for play, but you want to customize how your car looks and feels, the Gladiator is one of the best options to do so, especially some of the baseline models. Here, this one is just a little bit uh, upgraded in the interior uh, with the nice kind of leather and stitching on the seats and dash. Um, heated seats, heated steering wheel. Most of this does come basic in the basic model, uh, but we do have in the back when I talked about the exterior, obviously the bed lining spray. So it just adds a little bit of, you know, touch and class to the to the vehicle, as well as the, the tires are one of the upgraded versions. Uh, they just look a bit better, less basic. Um, but there's not too much of a difference. I believe, oh yeah, basically just that. Um, the horsepower, V6 engine, you're gonna eight speed automatic. That's gonna stay the same um, throughout the models. So if you love the, how the eight-speed automatic drives, especially if you if you're a Wrangler fan, but are looking for something that you know might help kind of more within your lines of work or lines of play. Like if you need this for work, obviously the truck in the back, or if you're more into camping and you need something in the back as well that just the Wrangler just doesn't have enough space for. The Gladiator, once again, is gonna be the choice for you. Uh, and yeah, let's just get into how it drives so far. So very similar, like I said, to the Gladiator. Um, I believe you get a little bit more torque on the highway here. So 285 horsepower, pretty solid, uh, pretty smooth. Engine noise, pretty minimal, I'd say. You don't notice it too loud. It's not too loud, sorry. Um, the, sitting in the seat right now though, this, the cockpit, the pilot seat, really comfortable. I love these leather seats and this le the leather kind of diamond stitching uh, that Jeep has done recently, especially in their Cherokees and Grand Cherokees. I'm really digging the design of that. I like that. Um, and overall, they kind of went with this tan brown stitching. That obviously feels good to the touch, but once again, a good color, like, like the design decision on that. And I've said this in the previous videos, but Jeep uh, steering wheels, definitely one of my favorites. Uh, they kind of tweak it a little bit uh, from different models and uh, different vehicles, sorry, in the Jeep lineup. But once again, they're big. They're nice to the touch. You can tell there's tons of uh, high quality leather in this. Simple, got the Jeep logo, can't beat a Jeep. Definitely one of my favorite steering wheels in the game. Uh, you got your digital gauge cluster in the middle. I like the look of that. You even get a fuel economy. You can kind of change it around, get them off-road. And yeah, I didn't even go through off. This thing's got off-road capabilities, just like your Wrangler would. So that's another good reason. Obviously up here, take those off if you want to enjoy maybe the week or two of sunshine in the Vancouver summer. Uh, the doors as well, I believe you just need, uh, in the back ones are just the, the ones you need uh, tools for to take the roof off, but in the front I think you can just do it by hand. Um, universal garage door opener right there. Yeah, tons of cool features in this thing. I think the Gladiator is definitely one of the most underrated vehicles, not only in the Jeep lineup, but overall. I think many people are just kind of thrown off by the initial appearance of the Gladiator. I mean, you get the 
it kind of just looks off because you see a Wrangler from the front and you're like, what is that in the back? But I think once you get it more used to it, especially from the side view, it looks good. Um, and yeah, as I'm driving it, like it doesn't feel like I'm driving a pickup truck. It feels more fun. And if you want to add a little more fun, if you're getting the mid-size pickup truck, why not get the Gladiator? Especially if you're an outdoorsy person, like to enjoy summer, you can throw you can throw your bikes back there and some tent supplies. And yeah, back to just the customization, the personalization. Uh, the Gladiator is just such a good car if you want to customize your vehicle. If you're into uh, working on it yourself or just putting it into a shop and telling them what you want. Uh, right now, this is just a white and black exterior. It looks sharp, looks clean. Cannot say anything bad about this. We'll give it a little bit of pull here. Yeah, it's not bad. It's a decent acceleration too. I just, I just, yeah, I can't say anything uh, bad about the Gladiator right now. Um, as I went through the interior and exterior pretty quickly today, I want to talk more about it while we're in the car. But super light uh, bed framing back there. Everything's light. It's not too much of a heavy door. Uh, you got your heated seats, heated steering wheel. Got all your integrated controls down below. Uh, window controls in the middle. This does have Apple CarPlay, uh, but you do need a USB-C or USB uh, cord to set it up for the first time, which I didn't have today. I'm sorry about that. So it's got uh, it's on UPlay, also Android Auto. But yeah, good response time. You can also control the climate from the screen as well. Good apps. You got your off-road cap capabilities, uh, off-road pages uh, on the dash as well. Um, obviously, if you've seen my videos in the past where I talked about the Wrangler. But guys, you know, this is just a fun vehicle to drive. And um, a lot of people have been saying it's, it's pretty reliable in terms of the pickup truck. So, yeah, I obviously I, I don't own one, so I can't say too much about that. Um, you got your power heated mirrors. Yeah, I, I mean, guys, I don't know. I'm, I'm really digging this. I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, obviously not going to take this um, off-roading today. But I dig the look of the interior, that brown stitching, the steering wheel. So many good things about this. It's going to be pretty much it for today, guys. I uh, just kind of wanted to talk while we're driving, change it up a little bit more. Um, let me know, obviously, what your favorite feature is uh, of the Gladiator. And if you're into personalizing and customizing cars, once again, I'm going to say the Gladiator is a great car to do so. So if you're into that stuff, basically, just comment down below. Uh, let me know if you had a Gladiator, uh, an older model, or even a 2023 model, and you plan to customize it, you know, change up the tires, doors, anything like that. And uh, give some feedback if you've done it in the past and um, what your experience has been with that. Um, so far, I've had a great experience driving this thing. Uh, we'll give a shout out to Foundation Auto in North Vancouver for allowing me to take this beautiful uh, pickup truck out for today on the beautiful Sea to Sky Highway. Beautiful views, got the water coming out. Not a little bit of gray skies, but that's all right. And yeah, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Uh, we do these type of videos every week or so, and your feedback kind of helps uh, us produce more content. But yeah, guys, that's gonna be pretty much it today so hopefully you enjoyed it and uh my name's colby once again and hopefully i can see you guys uh, next week